I thank God. Wow. And you're looking good. Thank you. You had a powerful week. Wow, by the grace of God. Oh, we really yes. thank God. My name is Teacher Esther, and today we have... Teacher Gladys, oh, yeah. how are you doing? Good to have you. Now, before we continue, we want to talk to Jesus. Yes. Somebody, close your eyes, put your hands together. Let us talk to Jesus. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before your presence. We thank you for another moment you've given us to come to learn your word. And we pray, O oh Lord, as we are being taught that you are going to use our teachers, that even as we are learning about the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that our lives are going to be transformed and we shall not be the same. We pray that even as we go through this lesson, open up our hearts, open up our inner ears, and help us to understand all that we are going to be taught. We pray this trusting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody say, Amen. amen. Did somebody shout a bigger amen? amen? Amen. Amen indeed. And now, boys and girls, I believe you've been following our lessons and you're learning great and great things, especially we are doing the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Holy the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is powerful. Awesome. Can it's you remember any fruits? Yes, I do remember. Eh, I remember love. Uh -huh. I remember peace. Uh -huh. I remember joy. Hey, and you're patience. Very good I have been following the hey, lessons. You're very, very good. Yes. I believe even you boys and girls have been following our lessons. And I'm sure you will learn so much. Even today, we have some fruits that we are going to introduce. I believe you're ready. But before then, right about now. It's time for JH Connect. Connect. And number one, I want you to get ready with your Bible. And number two, have your notebook ready. Oh, yes. Number three, very, very important. Get your pen ready because we are going to write some notes today. And number four. Oh, yes. Number four, you know what we are doing? We are getting, getting ourselves some space. space. You know why? Yeah. Because number five is very, very important. We will dance, dance for, for the Lord.
to welcome in the presence oh, of the yes. Holy Spirit. Very, very that important. was powerful. Very, very important. Yes. And boys and girls, always just take it as a privilege when you have time. You know, just to worship. worship the Lord and to praise Him and even to dance for, for the Him. Lord. It's amazing. Oh, yes. And yes. I'm sure you wonder what is coming next. We have something very important for you coming up. Time Ready off. for yes. JH Game Challenge. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hi boys and girls, it's activity time. My name is Chela and today I'm with teacher Gladys and teacher Anne. So as you've guessed it, this activity involves fruits, but we're not eating them, not yet. So I will blindfold them, then their hands have scarves. So they are supposed to feel the fruits and the one who picks the fruits the same type, get it? Yeah, is the winner. So let me blindfold them and let's get down to this. So we are setting the time for them, 30 seconds, and it starts now. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, now let's blindfold them. Surprise. Surprise. I'm not going to the floor. So, who's the winner? Let's see. Teacher Gladys has three avocados, four oranges, and two pineapple. Ah, sorry, apples. Teacher Anne has two avocados and three oranges. So who do you think is the winner? Teacher Gladys! Welcome. Chapter 14, verse 27, it says, Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. <laughs> that was amazing. Did you see the challenge? Hey, those fruits. Hey, it's hey. Not, some challenges are really hard. It's but not easy. You, but can you can get the fruits try. at home, yeah. Yes, and try to do mm. the challenge. Yes, it yes, is yes. just good to see what you can do. Oh, yes. And now it was so amazing to see that you can remember the memory verse, wow. what you have been learning. That is awesome. Keep it up. Keep it, keep keep it, it up. up. Yes. Hiding the word of God in your heart is very important. And today, hey, today hey. we have some fruit. What is this that you have? A banana. Wow. But what it's representing the fruit of goodness. I have some grapes around here. Representing what? This is just all about kindness. Wow. And today we are going to learn more about, about the fruit of the goodness. The goodness and the kindness. kindness. And to learn more about this is what we have to our Bible study. So who is teacher? Teacher Joel. Wow. Hello, boys and girls. How was your week? I hope you had a wonderful week and you're excited for our Bible lesson for today. My name is Chia Joan and I'll be taking you through our lesson for today. And I want to ask you a question. Have you been growing in the fruit of love, joy, peace, 
and patience, I believe the fruit of the Holy Spirit are growing in you. And today, we are still learning about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And we have been learning so much about how we can produce the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And do you remember our tree? Yes, our tree, this tree represents our spiritual life. And I believe that today we are going to add two more fruit of the Holy Spirit. And today we are learning about uh, kindness and goodness. And our Bible reading comes from Galatians chapter 5, from verse 22 to 23. And today we are going to learn about two people in the Bible that produced the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that is kindness and goodness. And we are going to learn how even us, we can be able to grow with these fruits and produce them in our lives. And remember that how we produce these fruits is by growing in Jesus. And we are going to start with the fruit of kindness. And in the book of Acts, chapter 9, from verse 32 to 42, it talks about a woman. She was a disciple, and her name was Tabitha or Dorcas. And she used to do a lot of good things for the people in that city, in the city of Joppa. She used to make clothes for the widows. Those are the people that have, the women that lost their husbands, and she used to also make clothes for orphans, the children that do not have fathers and mothers. Imagine, she used to do so much things for them. She used to show kindness from her heart. She used to make clothes, and these women and children loved Tabitha or Dorcas so much. But one day, she died. She fell sick, and she died. And the people in that city, they started mourning and crying for Dorcas because they loved her, because of the kindness that she used to show to the people in that city. But there was a disciple named G uh, Peter who was in the other city. And the people in that city went and called Peter and told them that Dorcas has died. Just come, come in and see. And Peter went and saw Dorcas and found that she was dead. Do you know what happened? Peter prayed for Dorcas and Dorcas came back to life because of the kindness of her heart. That is why uh, she received a, a blessing or a miracle because of the kindness of her heart. So you and I, we should show kindness to people. Even when they are mean to us, we should show kindness to them. Let us, let us show the fruit of kindness to people so that we can also receive a blessing when we need it. And there is another story in the Bible about a widow also who had lost her husband in 1 Kings chapter 17 from verse 7 to 16. And the, this widow was called the widow of Zarephath. And at those times, uh, there was a prophet, a man of God. His name was Elijah. And in that, in that city, there was famine. There was no food in that area. And so when this woman lost her husband, she was in need of food, and she had a son. And one day, God spoke to Elijah and told Elijah, go to the city of Zarephath, and you shall meet a widow there. And I want you to tell her, the, the, the words that I'm, I'm going to tell you. And so Elijah went to that city and found the widow picking firewood for her son. They wanted to cook a meal. And the widow was picking some firewood. And Elijah came and told the widow, please help me with some water. And the widow went and started walking to go and get some water for the man of God, and that is Elijah. And while she was on the way, Elijah told the widow, when you come back, come back with also a piece of bread. And the widow told Elijah, I do not have any food in my house. I only have a bit of flour and a jug of oil so that when we cook this uh, bread with my son, we eat and die. Imagine that is what she told the prophet Elijah. But Elijah told the widow, go and do as I have told you. And do you know what? The, the widow had a lot of goodness in her heart. She went and baked some bread for the man of God and also brought some water for the man of God and the man of God ate. And because of what she did for the man of God, the goodness, because she would have said, I'm not going to share with the man of God. Why should I give uh, the little thing that I have? But this widow baked some bread with the little oil that she had and the little flour that she had and gave it to the man of God. But the man of God, because of the goodness of this woman, 
he spoke a blessing. And you know what? This woman never lacked anything in her house. She always had provision in her house. She always had food because of what she did for the man of God. She had a lot of goodness. She shared with the man of God the little that she had. And so even us today, we can also show goodness. During this season, when we are at home, are you showing kindness and goodness to the people around you? When your parents tell you to do something, do you show goodness or kindness or you show the opposite of what you're supposed to do? do you, does your mother tell you, uh, make some uh, tea for me and you start asking uh, your sibling or your, your, your sister or your brother to go and do it instead of you doing it? You should show goodness, even share what you have. Show kindness to people who are around you. Even the friends in your neighborhood, show kindness to them. Let them see that you are a good Christian, you are a believer that has the fruit of kindness and uh, goodness. And I want you to remember that even when people do bad things to you, when they do mean things to you, don't repay them or don't show them back uh, meanness to them. Show them kindness, show them goodness, and you are going to receive a blessing because of what you are doing. And also remember that do not repay evil with evil. That is what the Bible tells us. Do not repay bad with bad because you will not receive a blessing when you do that. Always do good. Always show kindness to others and God is going to be happy with us because we, our tree will continue growing. Our spiritual life will continue growing. And remember that we grow when we have the Holy Spirit. Is that, is the way that, we are, that is the way that we are going to grow in kindness and goodness. And I want us to stick our, the fruit that we have learned today of goodness and kindness on our tree. Can you see? Our tree is growing. Our spiritual lives are growing with kindness and goodness. So this week, you remember the tree that you had drawn, the big tree? I hope you have been drawing the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And so our assignment for this week, we are going to draw goodness and kindness. And remember, the banana represents goodness and grapes represent kindness. And thank you so much for being part of our Bible lesson today. I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye. Powerful, powerful lesson. Did you learn something? Did you learn about goodness? The widow was so good. She was willing to share the little she had. Hey, that is that powerful. powerful. That's powerful. So always remember to be good to other people and share whatever you have. And you shall never lack. It will always overflow. Wow. When you have the fruit of goodness, it will always be good. Amazing. God had and he did. Hey, your life life. should always have Just a new part. part. Yes. Be good and you will see transformed. how transformed. your life will be transformed. Oh, yes. It will be amazing. Amazing. And amazing. Now, 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 now. We have something. We want to have some children coming up and they are going to give us the word of God because wow. it's Time for I the world. Memory verse, Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, it says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Galatians 6 9, it says, let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Galatians 6, 9. 
future is that did you see our children? They are they are made. able to do the memory verse, hide the word in their hearts. That is awesome. Keep it up oh, yeah. and we encourage more of you to be able to do the memory verse and hide the word of God in your heart. Oh yes, and even yes. as you hide the word of God in your heart, always remember to do your assignments. Remember the big tree? Yes, it's growing. And it's growing day by yes. day. So today we are going to earn some goodness to the tree and some kindness. kindness. Remember to add the fruit of the spirit to your tree. It will keep on growing and growing. And at the end of it all, we'll have a big tree with all the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Wow, I and our wait. lives will be so awesome. Oh, yes, I can't wait for the next fruit. Wow. It is amazing. And it's amazing. Been wonderful having you around. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for doing your lessons. Eh, our children are amazing. They are, you're just doing a great oh, job yes. and keep doing it. Your lives are never going to be the same again. Oh, yes. We appreciate you so much. And we also appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, for being together with us. And just now, we want to talk to Jesus and just give him praise. Let us pray. Father Lord, we want to worship you. We want to give you all the praises, oh God. Thank you for the wonderful lessons that we have had, oh God. Thank you even for learning about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray that this will be evident in our hearts, oh God. As we start a new week, we pray that you may help us to practice goodness, oh God, to practice kindness, oh Jehovah God, even to our friends and even our families, Jehovah God. Give us an awesome week ahead, oh God, and be together with us. We thank you, we bless you, and we worship your holy name. It is in Jesus' mighty name that we pray and we believe. Amen. 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 And we are always glad to have you. It's always a blessing. It's amazing. We Just we keep on there. So we love you and, and we thank God for you. And oh, until yes. next time, oh, bye. bye.